happened in this COVID-19 curve that we're talking about? Let me put my pen down. One, Pombe Magfuli is in Nairobi for treatment, not in Tanzanian hospitals, but he, he is in Nairobi, Kenya, where the best hospitals in East Africa are found. And he's treating himself of the novel COVID-19, allegedly. We do not have confirmation to that information because we were tipped. Now, Pombe Magfuli is the man who decided COVID-19 is non-existence. And he told the people of Tanzania, nothing will happen to us. We have the protection of God. All you ought to do is team yourselves with leaves and you shall be okay. When Yuri Kawuta Seveni was going to Tanzania to speak to Pombe Magfuli about the oil pipeline that Uganda and Tanga will be sharing, Pome Magfuli bluntly told Yuri Kagutam Seveni, you want your team, if you want to come with masks, please do. But we here in Tanzania do not put on masks. So come with your masks, come with a blanket if you want to cover yourself. We don't want to know. But in Tanzania, we don't have COVID-19. So the hunter has been hunted and apparently he's positive with COVID-19. Now, the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine has arrived in Uganda. It arrived on March 5th, 2021, and Jenruth Achenga assured us that on 10th of March, 2021, we will be having the COVID-19 job given to a number of people. Now, Jen Ruther Cheng was the first person to be given that job in assurance to Ugandans that the job is very, very safe for them to use. A number of people have been skeptic about this job. Social media platforms have been going awash with videos of the vaccine. Some people have been putting videos whereby they, the vaccine is injected in them and then they fall down and have a seizure. Some of them start barking like a dog or they make animal sounds. So there's been a lot of funny videos on TikTok and on Instagram and a lot of people have been posting them and saying the vaccine is here and they're giving us the jabs but we're going to get sick. Now my sister who lives in the US, her name is Shuruk. She got the jab yesterday, yesterday but one and I asked her, so you've gotten the jab. What is the experience of the COVID-19 vaccine? To Gambeko, so that we understand where we are coming from and where we're going to, because at the end of the day, for not to get enough vaccines. The rumor is journalists are going to be among the first essential workers after teachers and the police to get the jab. We are waiting to see when they will call the journalists to get the job. I asked, I'm like, okay, so we're going to get the job, but what next? Because I'm not willing to get a job that I'm seeing people get seizures on the other media platform. So she told me that here's the thing, the job has nothing whatsoever when it comes to side effects. The only side effect that the job has, it, is, it makes you so exhausted. It makes you so tired. So if you get the job in the morning, you feel like you have just run a marathon of 10 miles and your body is just too exhausted to do anything else. And she says she slept for eight hours, but that wasn't enough because when she woke up, she felt like she was still very weak. She didn't have the energy. And she's like, oh, that's a waste of my eight hours sleep because I woke up still tired. Well, for her, that is the only um, effect that she has seen from the vaccine. I'll keep checking up on her. I'll keep asking her what are some of the side effects of the vaccine. And trust me, you, I'll be telling you what the side effects of the vaccines are. Now, for you who missed Select News at 9 and Select a Yen Daulo, why don't we go look at that story where Jen Ruth Cheng and a number of other health workers are being vaccinated, and most of them will be vaccinated today. And then John Pombe Magfuli's case of COVID-19, alleged case of COVID-19, even when he said COVID-19 is non-existent, to come on, and then we talk about another conversation. Airline workers, the media, prisoners, tour operators and guides. In an event that took place at Mulago Hospital, the Minister for Health, Dr. General Ruth Cheng, received the vaccine before anyone else as an assurance to Ugandans that the vaccine was safe. Hi, guys. 
Uganda now has over 40,000 COVID-19 cases and the biggest casualties, health workers with 19 succumbing to COVID-19 and as many as 900 infected. On security personnel, the UPDF police and prisons estimated at 250,000 and these have been at the front line as you all are aware. We'll also focus on teachers, both in public and private facilities, among other essential service providers. Vaccination comes at a time when Ugandans have relaxed the implementation of COVID-19 guidelines. Dr. Jen Rutha Ching, however, warns that there could be another wave of the infection, warning that Ugandans should be extra cautious. But the people in the isolation unit in Mulago can testify that we are still getting cases and some are severe and they are succumbing. And so I want to remind Ugandans that while we reached our peak and plateaued and dipped, there is a likelihood that we can go into the second wave of the pandemic. This marks the beginning of the nationwide vaccination. The exercise will take on the gradual phase with 150,000 health workers, followed by teachers, security operatives, and patients with chronic diseases, among others, 49% of the population. Uganda now joins the rest of the world in the race to vaccinate at least 49.6% of its population. That's about 21.9 million people, including the refugees, with the COVID-19 vaccines in a phased manner. Each phase is planned to cover 20% of the target population, which is about 4.4 million people. 15,065 Ugandans have fully recovered from COVID-19 with 334 losing their lives. Uganda has so far received 9,604,000 doses of the vaccine in form of donation from both the European Union and the government of India. The file was compiled by Adams Mayambala and Sarah Nakandi for Select News. It approved the use of AstraZeneca vaccines manufactured by the Serum Institute of India. There are several reports coming through that claim Tanzania's President John Pombe Magufuli may be admitted in a Nairobi hospital, Kenya, battling COVID-19. Kenya's Daily Nation newspaper has confirmed that an African leader is admitted in Nairobi hospital. The leader has reportedly been in Nairobi hospital for two weeks. Declining to name the leader, Daily Nation hints at the identity of the leader as one who regularly addresses church congregants and public ladies. It goes on to say he was last seen in public on February 27, 2021. Tanzania's Magufuri, a devoted Christian, has repeatedly called upon his countrymen and women to pray in response to the coronavirus outbreak, COVID-19. Magufuli has denied that Tanzania has any COVID-19 cases since the outbreak in March 2019. Recently, he has rejected suggestions that the country imports available COVID-19 vaccines. Magufuli, however, has been under pressure as religious leaders call upon the government to respond to the COVID-19 outbreak this year. Religious leaders, especially the Catholic Church, have reported death in their ranks who they suspect were a result of COVID-19. If confirmed, Magufuli will be the second East African leader to contract COVID-19. Burundi's outgoing Pierre Nkuruziza contracted the disease and succumbed to it in June 2020. His death prompted Burundi to reverse its COVID-19 policy. Nairobi having treatment on the COVID-19. Tukome Waka, because all we are doing is wishing him the best in this particular situation. And we are praying and hoping that he gets better from this COVID-19 situation. Now, aside from that, we also know that among the countries that have been using the vaccines and they suspended the vaccine is Austria. Now, Austria decided to suspend the AstraZeneca vaccine that COVID that we Ugandans have received and they say the reason that they have done that is because they see that one person died 
in their country and they allegedly think that the death could be attached to the COVID-19 vaccine that that person was given. So they put it at a pause and they're doing investigations before they continue with the vaccine. The other place is South Africa that decided they would put a vaccine at a hold because they said people were reacting to this vaccine. However, Kenya and Rwanda are one of the countries in East Africa that have the vaccine and they're using it proper. Now, uh, Tegan Waldemariam. The representative of World Health Organization to Uganda said over 300 million people worldwide are using this vaccine and none of them has reported cases of having any side effects to COVID-19. And when Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng was injected with a vaccine, she said, I'm not feeling anything funny. That means I am okay and that means any other Ugandan can take this vaccine. Now we got it from EU and the government on, of India and we appreciate them for giving us the 964,000 vaccines that we have. And we know that 21 million Ugandans will be receiving this vaccine, including the refugees who are in the refugee camps and they have come into Uganda for help and aid and will be vaccinating them again. However, Ugandans have been called upon by Dr. Atwine not to give up on following the SOPs and guidelines even after vaccination. Don't think life is going back to normal after we receive the vaccination. Of course, that's what we all hoped for, but that's not how things are going to be. Now, as 